The Hubble telescope can see the farthest galaxies, but the James Webb telescope will see the farthest stars. Since the onset of the James Webb telescope, it has been reigning astronomy and has established itself as the beginning of a new era, the James Webb era. And the most surprising thing was that the James Webb telescope broke cosmology in just two months. And in this video, we'll get to know how the James Webb Telescope showed us the unseen and revealed the unknown. The Hubble Deep Field It was in 1995 when astronomer Robert Williams pointed the Hubble Space Telescope onto a part of the sky for 100 hours which seemed to have nothing worthy of grabbing attention. He received intense criticism for this as most people thought that this was not a good idea and many believed that this was going to waste the valuable time of the Hubble telescope. Robert Williams did not bother about the criticisms he faced, as he had 10% of the observing time in his pocket as the Space Telescope Science Institute director. This was known as the director's discretionary time, and was just like a purse full of cash. Things didn't stop there, as he stated that if nothing extraordinary came out of this, he would resign from his post. Between December 18th and 28th, the telescope gazed at a dark patch of sky and took about 342 pictures, and each of them exposed for between 25 and 45 minutes. It might surprise you to know that this dark region was teeming with galaxies. There were more than 3,000, and some of them were about 12 billion years old. A plethora of the galaxies which existed there were extremely faint. And apart from that, some of the galaxies there were about 4 billion times fainter than the human eye can see. Now we know this patch of space as the Hubble Deep Field. William explains the whole purpose of the observation. We didn't know what was there, and that was the whole purpose of the observation. Basically, to get a core sample of the universe. He also adds, you do the same thing if you're trying to understand the geology of the Earth. Pick some typical spot to drill down to try to understand exactly what the various layers of the Earth are and what they mean in terms of its geologic history. Cycle 1 The Hubble Deep Field was indeed breathtaking, but humanity's thirst for knowledge can never be quenched. Astronomers were excited and they knew that they wanted more. More than 25 years later, the James Webb Telescope was handed over the opportunity to see beyond galaxies and stars and to be the portal that connects us with the cosmos. It was in the middle of the year 2022 when the James Webb Telescope began its journey of science observations termed Cycle 1, so that mankind can have another giant leap. The James Webb Telescope was pretty determined in search of distant galaxies through two of its Cycle 1 programs. Though they spent several hours on this, researchers had never felt that they would end up with something splendid. They had expected to receive a refined version of the Hubble Deep Field, but things were not how they had expected them to be. Astronomers were surprised that they came across a multitude of galaxies that are estimated to have existed during the initial 200 million years of the Big Bang. Now that's astounding. These galaxies were extremely bright and had a stellar mass which was several billion solar masses. The problem was that the more the scientists discovered, the more perplexing things turned out to be. The giant, complex galaxies which were discovered went against the expectations that were set by the standard model of the evolution of the universe. The Big Bang Now, you might get the idea that scientists went wrong somewhere, and if you want to understand this mystery, then let us go a long way back, when the universe as we know it was believed to have formed. Yes, the Big Bang. The Big Bang theory explains how the universe expanded from a stage of extremely high density and temperature. Almost within the initial second, all four fundamental forces had differentiated from each other. Within the next three minutes, the cosmos expanded and then cooled. And this was also when the light elements like the nuclei of helium started to form. After 400,000 years, the universe became extremely cold, unsuitable for the arrival of the first atoms. 
the dark ages of the universe concluded with the birth of the first stars, which were born after a lifetime of 150 million years. The stars which were formed were magnificent in size and were termed the population three stars. These stars consisted primarily of hydrogen and helium. The first proto-galaxies were formed and they were a plethora of gas clusters that clung to structures of dark matter. With a little help from gravity, the proto-galaxies joined hands to form large galaxies. This unique and elaborate process is estimated to have taken an unbelievable billion years. Now, according to the James Webb Telescope observations, this leaves a patch of doubt when it comes to this model. GLZ-13 Astronomers believe that there must be a multitude of small protogalactic fragments that have not yet joined hands to form a galaxy. Instead of that, researchers are now witnessing things that are immense galaxies. Isn't that an eye-opener? One of these is the GLZ-13, which boasts a redshift of 13.1. A redshift is a complex phenomenon that involves an increase in the wavelength and a decrease in both the frequency and photon energy of electromagnetic radiation. Redshift's value is denoted by the letter Z, which corresponds to the fractional change in wavelength. Did you know that the letter Z which is represented here is a dimensionless quantity? How redshift works is that as its value increases for objects in deep space, both its distance and look-back time also increases. When it comes to astronomy, excavating galaxies that have a redshift that is above 11 is indeed a huge accomplishment and the Hubble telescope could only find one during its long 30 years of observation. When we look into the James Webb Telescope, one of the most attractive aspects of it is that it is an infrared observatory. Now as we move into the GLZ-13, its redshift helps us know how old it is, and you might be astonished to know that it existed during the initial 300 million years of the universe. That's right! As you know, GLZ-13 has a mass of a billion solar masses, and this entirely opposes the star formation models. Observation of the James Webb Telescope What makes us puzzled is that even if everything available was taken to form stars, you would still not achieve in getting a star that big in such a short time. Several observations of the James Webb Telescope are challenging to explain with the Lambda CDM model, which is considered to be the standard model of cosmology. Astronomers are pretty desperate in terms of fitting the observations made by the James Webb Telescope into the widely accepted cosmological models. The observations made by the telescope could also support the idea of modified Newtonian dynamics which is a hypothesis that is an alternative to the hypothesis of dark matter in terms of describing why galaxies don't appear to obey the laws of physics that are currently accepted. This controversial hypothesis was first created in the year 1982 and was initially published in 1983 by Israeli physicist Mordechai Milgram. Though the telescope has detected several galaxies that do not correspond to our cosmological models, one can't completely deny the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory has been known to predict exactly how much of each element was made during the early universe. The initial extragalactic programs of the James Webb Telescope have shown us the need for revisions when it comes to our models of star formation and galaxies. Astronomers are on a quest to find more such galaxies which would refine their databases and enable them to develop models which are accurate and reliable. There are certain estimates which hint that the James Webb Telescope could see as far as a redshift of 26, which is approximately about 120 million years after the Big Bang. This could indeed be a wow factor for astronomy if it turns out to be accurate. The James Webb Telescope can be considered one of cosmology's greatest assets. The observations made by James Webb have indeed been an attention grabber which in the end would help astronomers create theories and cosmological models that can be relied upon. There is no doubt that the James Webb Telescope would help humanity soar into the vast universe, 
crossing galaxies and conquering the cosmos. What do you think about the James Webb Telescope's observations? Do you think that the Big Bang is flawed? Do let us know in the comments below. We will meet again in another video, and until then, goodbye fellas. <laughs>